Hi, this is Presh Talaker. In this video, we're going to discuss a game theory puzzle called the race to 15. Here are the rules to the game. There are nine cards numbered one to nine. Two players, Alice and Bob, take turns picking up cards. So what that means is that Alice will pick up the first card, then Bob will pick up any of the remaining cards, then Alice will pick one of the remaining cards, and so on. The first player to collect a set of three cards that add up to 15 wins the game. The question is, can Alice, who goes first, guarantee a win? I want you to think about this game, give it a try, and see if you can solve it. When you're ready, keep watching for the solution to the game. So the difficult part is trying to figure out the sets of three numbers that add up to 15. The trick is to use a 3x3 magic square. In a magic square, every row, column, and diagonal will have the same sum of 15. So I could just write out the magic square with the numbers 1 through 9, but I'm going to show you how you can generate this. It's a method called the upright or down method. It starts out by writing a 1 in the middle of the top row. Then what you want to do is go up and to the right to get the next number. So here we go up and to the right and we need to wrap around. So this is where we write the number 2. To get the next number we go up and to the right. Again we're going to need to wrap around. And this is where we write 3. We again go up and to the right but this time we're blocked because this square already has a 1. So when we're blocked, we go down. So that's where we write a 4. And we're going to keep on applying this rule of going up and to the right to write the next number and continue to fill out the square. So in the center square, we have a 5. In the upper right hand corner, we have a 6. Now we're going to try and go up and to the right. We're going to need to wrap this around. We're once again blocked, so we need to go down from where the 6 is. That's where 7 will be. And we continue filling it out. We'll figure out where the 8 is by going up and to the right. And the 9 will also be up and to the right of 8. As you get a few of these in, you can also fill them out just by knowing that the sum of each row or diagonal or column will be 15. So now we have a magic square where every row and column and diagonal sums up to 15. And those are the only sets of three numbers that add up to 15. So let's try and solve the game. So what we'll do is we'll imagine when Alice picks a number, we'll visualize it on this 3x3 grid. And we'll mark her spot with an X. So let's say she picked a 5, we put an X in the center. Whichever number Bob picks, if he picks an 8, we'll put an O in that square. So having a sum of 15 means getting a 3 in a row, because the only way to get 15 is to have one of the rows, columns, or diagonal. And that's the insight. This game is exactly like tic-tac-toe. So wherever Alice goes and Bob's go, we're alternately picking X's and O, both players trying to get 3 in a row. Since tic-tac-toe ends in a draw, this game also ends in a draw. Did you solve the puzzle? I hope you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, you can support me on Patreon for exclusive rewards, catch me on my blog Mind Your Decisions, on Twitter at Presh Tallwalker, and you can get my books listed on my website.